Sometimes an automatic linear or equal interval color scheme just doesn't work well. In this example of a benzene model, the 100 plus anomaly in the center obscures any detail within the lower range of values. Let's assume that we're also interested in the spatial distribution of lower values from 0.5 to 5 and from 5 to 50. The solution is to use a custom color table rather than the automatic cold to hot scheme. This exercise will show how to do it. Select the iData model option. Expand the Create Three-Dimensional Diagram options and click the Color Scheme Options button. Select the Custom option and then click on the Edit button. Select the Benzene Soil Table and then click on the Edit Table button. According to this table, values between 0 and 0 0.5 will be colored gray. Values between 0 0.5 and 5 will be purple. Values between 5 and 50 will be yellow. And values between 50 and 500 will be red. Close the dialog boxes and press the process button. Minimize the menu and increase the viewing scale. At first glance, this looks right, but it isn't. Turn off the benzene soil option. The benzene logs are using the automatic colorization. To fix this, we need to click on the 3D Strip Log Designer tab, select the iData number 1 options, change the fill style to table based, select the benzene soil color table, and click the process button. Now, if we turn off the model, the benzene logs are using the same color scheme. The same considerations hold true for sections, profiles, and fences. In the upper section, the strip logs are using the automatic color scheme. In the lower section, the strip logs are using the same custom color table as the model.